Welcome to Free. I'm Geraldine and today we're going to talk about chemical compounds important for life. Yes, on our journey from chemistry to biology, we are getting closer and closer to biology. But we already know that the most important chemical elements that involve life are four. Do you remember them? C-H-O-N. Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. So today we're going to see how these elements combine and form organic components. Have you ever heard the word organic? Yeah, they use it a lot for organic food, which makes no sense because something organic is something that has to do with living things, really. And if you buy organic carrots, well, obviously they are organic because if they were inorganic, you wouldn't be able to even eat them. But let the organic food away from this. It has nothing to do with this, really. But <laughs> why do they do that? I don't get it. But they like it that way and I don't think we are going to change them. So our business. We said that carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen are very important for life. So when they are combined, these elements create amazing molecules, amazing compounds. And these compounds are the basis of life. So all life is made out of organic compounds. The most important organic compounds are carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids. So we have to learn how to pronounce and how to spell these words because they are very important and you're going to see them a lot. Carbohydrates. Carbohydrates. C-A-R-B-O-H-Y-D-R-A-T-E-S. Let's spell it again. C-A-R-B-O-H-Y-D-R-A-T-E-S. A T E S. Carbohydrates. Let's check the dictionary. Okay, so the dictionary says carbohydrate. Let's listen. Carbohydrate. And it also says any of a class of substances made of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, including starches and sugars. Lipids. L I P I D S. One more time. Lipids. L I P I D S. And now let's go to the dictionary. And here we have lipids. Let's listen. Lipid. Well, here it says that you can also say lipid or lipid. Any of a group of organic compounds that are greasy to the touch, insoluble in water, insoluble in alcohol and ether. Lipids comprise the fats and other esters with analogous properties and constitute, with proteins and carbohydrates, the chief structural component of living cells. Proteins. P-R-O-T-E-I-N-S. Proteins. And what does the dictionary say about them? How about proteins? Let's listen. Protein. Protein. Here it says. Or protein. A molecule that is a large portion of the mass of every life form, composed of amino acids linked in long chains. Nucleic acids. N-U-C-L-E-I-C A-C-I-D-S. Nucleic acids. N-U-C-L-E-I-C A-C-I-D-S. Let's see the dictionary. Finally, we don't have the pronunciation, but we can see it from here. Nucleic, or here, nucleic acid, or nucleic, or nucleic. So, nucleic acid. One of a group of long molecules, either DNA or various types of RNA, carrying genetic information that directs functions of a living cell. Some of the names give us hints about what they are. For example, carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are mainly made of carbon, hydrogen, and also oxygen. 
In all of these compounds, we're going to find carbon. Carbon is such, an, such a versatile element. We have studied it. We know a carbon atom. We know that in its outer shell of electrons, it has four of them. And that it needs four more to complete uh, that shell. But we know, we know that carbon can just get those four electrons or it can give the four electrons that, that are extra on that shell. So it can attach to basically anything. And it's the base of many things, organic and also inorganic compounds. But we care about organic compounds. So, well, carbohydrates are, let's say, the simplest structures, but they are made out of even simpler structures that are, again, we said carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And when we mostly hear about this word is when we talk about food because everything we eat is carbs. We just talk about carbs, carbs. Carbs are carbohydrates. Well, food that has a lot of carbohydrates. And they're very important because from them, we can get the energy that we need, that any living thing needs. They are very important. Then we have lipids. Lipids are also made out of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen but not in the same proportion as carbohydrates. Also, we, well, lipids are just fat, and we know that fat doesn't mix with water. So the, the way they are um, organized make these compounds uh, not to be dissolved by water. That doesn't happen with carbohydrates. You can dissolve them in water. Lipids are a little bit more complex, and also in life, we see fat in many living things and the, as they are more complex structures, they are used to store the energy. And this happens in all living things, in plants as in humans, <laughs> and also you will find it in bacteria, like in the smallest living thing. Then we have proteins. Proteins are more complex than carbohydrates and lipids. We said that carbohydrates and lipids have all carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Proteins, in addition, also have nitrogen. Proteins are big compounds made out of smaller uh, molecules called amino acids. They have nitrogen and they are very, very important in life because they make the tissue. They, they make the stuff, you know, the important stuff. Our muscles, our hair, well, anything that is important that is made out of protein. And also smaller, smaller proteins are very important parts of our body. Of our body and, well, in general, of life processes. Finally, we have nucleic acids. Nucleic acids also are composed of carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen, but they have a different structure. They have a nitrogenated base, and that is what our DNA is made of. So they are very, so probably they are the most important structures. They are very complex that we, we find it like in the nucleus of the cells. They have all the information. It's amazing how they do that but also they are made of tiny chunks of smaller molecules that get together and make this amazing life. These compounds are very important because we see them every day, we eat them every day, and we are them. Think of which part of your body is what. Well, most of us are proteins. So now let's see some examples. Carbohydrates. Lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids. Practice these words, start using them, start identifying these components in your daily life, and tell me what you thought about this video. Thank you very much for watching this. Please subscribe 
and see you very soon.